All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2024 horror film called Maxine. It is the third of the Ty West X series. Uh, there are three. It's X, Pearl, and then Maxine. And this stars Maya Goff in all three films different parts. Um, but here is the plot. In 1980s, Hollywood adult film star and uh, inspiring actress Maxine Minx finally gets her big break. However, as a mysterious killer stalks the starlights of uh, Los Angeles, a trailer of Trail of Blood threatens to reveal her sinister past. Now here's some of the cast. So you got to watch the first one called X, obviously, as it takes place after this. Pearl is more of a, a prequel to X, where this is a sequel to X. Now, what shocked me was the surprise casting names that was in this uh, was actually, yeah. It, I mean, you saw in the casting what it was of who was in here, but it's a... Kind of a big thing for a, I don't know what else Ty West has done, but I believe this is what made him in my golf really famous was the X films uh, series. And, you know, it, it's, it's, it's really awesome to see people who make good films kind of get up there and more budget and more recognition. What didn't shock me was the gore and nudity. It's like the first one. However, I would argue the nudity uh, uh, and gore was, there were more of it in X, even more than Pearl. Um, but in Maxine, it, it definitely had that feel of sexuality to it, because obviously she's a porn star, and if you saw the first one, then you would know what I'm, why, why that would be. Uh, but here's the thing. I liked this way more than X. X felt slightly rushed and felt like they was trying too hard to throw in horror film references as much as they could. Where Maxine felt thought out more, it had great pacing, great character writing for Maxine. I actually cared about her and other characters, unlike in X, and she had a solid story arc as well. They also did a great job of giving very little information of who the killer was until the reveal. The story felt and looked strongly like you were in the dirty part of the 80s, but the story itself felt like a murder thriller to me. And honestly, the first one was obviously a pure horror fan type of uh, pornography kind of thing. Um, and so to speak, um, where it was, you know, it's just they, they throw in references and stuff and stuff. And that honestly made that X feel like a, 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 a throwback to the 80s um, horror films. But it also it just felt like a horror film in general. The second one kind of had a horror film, but it more felt like a, a old play type of thing. You know, like, um, like... Uh, uh, specifically what I got from Pearl was uh, the Wizard of Oz, Dorothy. And that's just kind of what it is. But this more felt like a strong murder thriller to it. But here's my rating. I'll come back to my final thoughts. If you're into B-movies with high production value and a film uh, writers, I definitely say go watch X first, but then definitely watch this. Um, if you choose to do Pearl, um, I wouldn't do that second. I would definitely maybe, if anything, do it first, maybe? I don't know. I think Pearl, uh, kind of at this point with this, with Maxine, is kind of, it's like a side bonus feature type of movie despite it being good um but so i would definitely go x and maxine and then go back and for the lure and go for uh pearl but 
yeah. So leave your thoughts down below. I'm always curious about that. Um, so remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. Skull.